We are a conservation-only lab, so for many endangered species, they are endangered in their habitat and they are in danger of going extinct without this active conservation work we do here. So this one has been growing in this container for a year. Um, it's a little bit, it's like 18 months old from the time it was germinated. We do field biology work. We survey the endangered habitats. We collect a small amount of seeds or spores, depending on what type of plant species it is. We uh, have permits to bring them back here to the United States at the zoo. We propagate as many of them as we can. And when we get them big enough, we reintroduce them to the wild so the populations stay big enough and they don't go extinct. So these have been in the magentas, or in at least a, a petri dish since they were seeds, and then they were moved into the magentas, which is what this little square container is called. So you just take them out, one or a couple at a time, however you can get them out, and then transfer them into the next container. Actually, we're probably the last stop for some of these species. Some of these species are down to only one or two or three plants left in the world. Once they go extinct, we can't, we can't bring them back. There are many reasons why each species is important to the, the environment's biodiversity. They sequester carbon from the atmosphere. They recycle nutrients in the in the environment. In the process, they develop compounds that animals can't, humans can't. Also, plants give us all our, our food, or they're the basis for all food on Earth. All these things, in addition to their aesthetic qualities, which are important too, 